we have six algebraic expressions here and we have to tell whether these algebraic expressions are polynomials or not. Let's begin with this first one. Here you have x raised to the power of minus 10 plus x raised to the power of 9 plus x raised to the power of 7 plus 1. Now if you look at this term of this algebraic expression then it is x raised to the power of minus 10. Its exponent is minus 10. That is not a whole number. That is not a whole, whole number. A whole number should whole number starts from 0 from from 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 that is this set of integers starting from 0 is a set of is a set of whole numbers now minus 10 is a negative number okay that doesn't lie here in this set so it's not a whole number therefore this is not a polynomial what about this one the second expression is quite similar to the first one. The only difference is that here the exponent is 10 but here numerical coefficient of this term is minus 10. Well, your numerical coefficient, your numerical coefficient can be negative. It can be negative. Right? So here also your numerical coefficient can be negative here also. The only thing is that Exponents should not be negative. They should be a whole number. Okay, they should be whole number. So here this is 10, it's a whole number. Here it is 9, it's a whole number. It's a seven, it's seven, it's a whole number. Here this is one. So one is basically what? X raised to the power of zero. This is zero, it's also a whole number. So yes, this is a polynomial. This is one divided by x raised to the power of 10 plus x raised to the power of 9 plus x raised to the power of 7 plus 1. Now, if you pay attention to this term, this is actually what? x raised to the power of minus 10, right? x raised to the power of minus 10 can be written as 1 by x raised to the power of 10. Again, it's exactly the same condition as we saw here, right? So this is not a polynomial. This is one divided by x, uh, the tenth root of x, then x raised to the power of nine plus x raised to the power of seven plus one. Well, in this case, again, this is actually, if you pay attention to this term, then this is one tenth root of x. That means it is one x raised to the power of 1 by 10, right? And this is actually what x raised to the power of minus 1 by 10, right? Now, this term, like this one, here your exponent of this power x is minus 1 by 10 that is not a whole number. That is not a whole number. That's why this algebraic expression is not a polynomial. Now here, you have 1 by square root of 2, x squared plus x plus 1. Now, again, your numerical coefficient, numerical coefficient can be any real number. It can be any real number, right? It can be negative. It can be in decimals. It can be integers. It can be positive integers. The only thing is that your exponents should not be uh, negative. They should be whole numbers, okay? So here it is x squared, it's a whole number. Here it is x raised to the power of one, it's a whole number. It is x raised to the power of zero, it's a whole number. Yes, this is a polynomial. What about this case? Now this is also a polynomial, why? Because if you look here, if you look at this term, then it is x raised to the power of 10 minus 9 that is x raised to the power of 1 and why because of one of the law of exponents says that if a raised to the power of n is divided by a raised to the power of n then it is actually equal to a raised to the power of m minus n where a should not be equal to 0. So from here you get x raised to the power of 1 then Actually, it is x plus x squared plus x cubed. 
right? So this is a polynomial. So imagine if it was something like this, square root of x plus cube root of x plus 10th root of x. Is this a polynomial? No. Why? Because this is square root of x means x 1 by 2 plus cube root of x means x raised to the power of 1 by 3 plus 10th root of x means x raised to the power of 1 by 10. These are actually not whole numbers. These are not whole numbers. That is why this is not a polynomial. 